Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recap. It's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, episode one, and I'm so excited to get started. Before we jump into the episode, we're going to get to some news. So I have this article here from People, and it talks about Lisa Renna and that she absolutely hates her tagline. Of course, we know her tagline. Is the secret to life, dance like everyone is watching. Well, she calls it dumbass. <laughs> uh, she has been on her Instagram and created a poll and is looking for people to help her change it. Her, She'd like her new tagline to be, when people ask my sign, I say dollar. Of course, we know the episode aired last night and it has not changed. So good luck with that, Lisa. Okay, so here we are, season 10, episode one. The crown isn't so heavy. <laughs> now, before we jump into this, let's talk taglines real quick. So the first one we have is Kyle's, and hers is around here. There's more than just dresses in everyone's closet, okay? The next one we have here is, of course, Lisa Rinna's. The secret to life, dance like everyone is watching. Of course, we know how she feels about that one. The next one is Dorit's, and hers is, I won't settle for less than everything. And the next one is Garcelle. Life is an audition, and honey, I'm getting that part. The next one is Teddy's, and it says, you never know what to expect when I'm expecting. And we have Erica's, break a leg, not in those heels, honey. Last one here is Denise, and it says, my life may not be a fairy tale, but I always get a happy ending which I thought was pretty funny. So we immediately kick off the episode with a flash of what's to come. They show a psychic and all the girls sitting around the table. And you know, I shudder a little bit when I think of psychic. It reminds me of Alison Dubois. Oh my gosh. We have Kim in a preview showing her boobs. Sure. And it looks like the group is going to Rome. So I'm very excited to see what happens this season. I felt the last season especially was really a snooze fest, but this one looks pretty exciting. So we start the episode with a packing montage. Kyle is packing with her assistant. We got Teddy packing. The ladies are headed to New York City. They're headed for fashion week. Uh, we have Erica telling us that she's going to be performing at a V-File show. Kyle reveals she created a line to debut at Fashion Week. Can we talk about this fashion line for just a minute? What did you guys think? Oof, I am just not a fan of Kyle's style or the clothes in the fashion line, personally. Um, really didn't care for them. Curious to see what you guys thought. So Kyle calls up Dorit for help while they're in New York City. Dorit's put on fashion shows before and she agrees to go with Kyle to help her get things sorted out. Along the way, they yell through the car window that they want two pretzels and two Cokes. So I don't know why I found that pretty funny. Then they start showing the awful clothes again. Yikes. And then we flash over to Erica. Um, Erica is with the rest of the girls, minus Garcelle. And she is talking about her past how she's opening up and she was a go-go dancer. So that was pretty cool insight into her past. Lisa says, I can't picture Amelia doing that. Um, and then admits it's basically what she's doing on Instagram now, which I thought was pretty funny. 
And then we get to see Garcelle. Holy crap, she is so stunning. It's incredible. Wow. I'm very excited to see her as part of the cast. So we get to know her a little bit and she tells us that she got her start in coming to America. I love that movie. I do not remember her in that movie. So it's a reason to go back and watch that. Next, we flash over to Lisa Rinna, who is introducing us to a new friend of. Her name is Sutton. Holy cow, I could talk about Sutton for about 10 hours. What do you guys think? I think she's a train wreck and it's going to be funny. Lisa tells us how Sutton has TRs made for her birthday every year from Dolce & Gabbana. They go over to Dolce's apartment. Lisa put on a crown and while she did, they echoed Lisa Vanderpump saying, the crown is heavy, darling, so leave it where it belongs. I don't know if that was necessary. And then Lisa talks about Sutton and says, when you're paying that kind of money, it doesn't matter what you look like. The more over the top, the better. And holy cow, talk about over the top. This is an awful outfit. Oh, the bra didn't fit. The shirt wasn't right. Oh my God, I hated it. What'd you guys think? From there, we have Denise, Garcelle, Erica, and Teddy meeting up. They talk about what an ass Charlie Sheen was. No shocker there. He sounds like he hasn't paid child support. Denise doesn't want to get a lawyer, uh, doesn't want to go to court, but Erica pulls out her phone and calls her husband, Tom, who volunteers himself to help Denise out. Denise gets weird and testy with Erica, so that was an interesting scene. I did feel like Erica was actually just trying to help her out and Denise got weird. Um, so curious to see what you guys think about that. And in the next scene, you have everybody meeting up for dinner. Uh, they're talking about the fashion show tomorrow. And then Kyle talks having to go to North Carolina for the Halloween movie. Sounds like she is reprising her role and that explains her bangs. They flash over to Mauricio and he's having an agency party. Man, that guy's good looking, but what a douche with all the agency stuff. Ugh, those hats. Ugh, it's just too much. What did you guys think? Then we have Sutton arriving at dinner and holy crap, she judges the crap out of everybody. She starts in with Erica for her too short dress. And then she goes after Dorit and because Dorit's wearing Fenty, which is of course by Rihanna. And she says, I don't care about collaborations. Then she goes on to say, Teddy looks like she's wearing a black romper, which, you know, was true, but still, that's coming on pretty strong out of the gate. So she seems to have very strong opinions about fashion. We'll see what happens there. Kyle makes a speech thanking everyone for coming and Teddy announces that she is expecting. She has since had her baby. I believe they named it Dove. Then you guys, we flash over to Tracy. Tracy is hilarious. Tracy is the very pink haired lady that is Kyle's fashion show producer. Apparently she asked Kyle's publicist to keep distance between them. Woo. Then it's time for the runway. We have Erica Jane walking down. Garcelle comments that Erica looks frumpy, which I actually agree. I've never said that about Erica, but in this outfit, she looked kind of frumpy. I don't get these outfits, you guys. I don't. Then, holy crap, you guys, we have Teddy. Oh, please tell me you listen to Watch What Crappens. If you don't know what that is, that's a really funny podcast. And every time those guys talk about Teddy, they say, hey, my name's Teddy. So that's all I could hear in my head while she did this walk. You guys, this walk, this was the worst walk I've ever seen. It made me laugh so hard. And of course, think of Ramona. Oh, that walk. 
that walk like she just got off a horse. That was so funny. I could not stop laughing. We had Dorit, who did a fantastic job on the runway, I thought. And of course, Lisa Renna. My God, her legs are great. I'm so jealous. And then I got chills because Kyle came on and said we were all so happy that day. It was hard to imagine how terrible things would soon become. <gasps> what does that mean? You hear a producer voice and they, he says, to be a cast member, all you have to do is tell the truth. Woo, you have Denise saying I'm done. Kyle saying, I bet we will n never see Denise again. Holy cow. The screen went dark and it said in December, Denise stopped shooting with the group. Whew, it is gonna be an interesting season. I'm actually super excited about this for the first time since I can remember. Okay, so let's go on to the question of the week. So my question to you guys, one of my many questions was, what are your first episode thoughts? What did you think? Let me know, I'm dying to discuss this with you. Tell me your thoughts on the new girls. Tell me what you thought. And I can't wait to hear from you. I wanna talk about this all the time to everybody. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I cover, I'm covering Beverly Hills and New York right now. So check out all my recaps and interact with me. I love talking to you guys and thanks so much. Take care, bye-bye.